basically this pattern here. This is a small caddis pattern. Now I've never fished it. Something it's certainly worth trying. It's just I've had the opportunity to try diamond hard uh, UV resin. This one here by Deer Creek, and uh, it's a nice resin to use. I, I mean, it's certainly uh, I would I would certainly recommend it and give it a go. Uh, sets really well. Now been messing around with it just to see what it's like. Obviously tied some buzzers, a few buzzers actually, just to get an idea of how to use it and how it sets. It sets really well. But I thought I would tie a caddis pattern just to show you. Which I enjoy, I love tying caddis flies and this just gave me an excuse to try it. Now the underbody is going to be wire and this is a chartreuse wire and small by UTC. And I'm just going to start it at the back just round the back here and then I'm going to wind it up now I'm using, I put it on a bobbin holder so that I can wind it up quicker all the way up, now obviously this is going to add a wee bit of weight to it it's not about a, bit of a mill or two or so from the from the eye and I like to break it off because you get a, a neater cut now if you do have spaces you can actually just use your nails and push them tight together like that and then I'm going to coat it with the diamond hard resin just over the top. I'm just going to spread it out using the needle, the double needle, which I like to do it all the way around. A nice even coat. And this is a, the Ultra Fire torch which is really strong, sets the resin within seconds. Uh, I give it 10 seconds anyway, so make sure that the resin set. And it is tack free, it's really dry, so to give an idea. I put my finger on it, there's nothing there at all. So set really well. And then I'm going to tie in a chartreuse, this is uni thread, an 8 and chartreuse. So you start at the back and wind, basically start your thread like you would do with the eye, wind it down about half a dozen turns and then remove the waste piece. Now the, I'm not sure if I've said, but the hook I'm using is a, a camisan, it's a B110. The herald I'm going to be using, this is peacock herald dyed olive. Just gonna trim away the tip, just catch it in right at the very bottom on the thread area and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the thread up like a rib all the way up and make sure I've got a few turns down so it doesn't move. You need the thread turns to give you that wee touch of grip and then I'm going to wind the head all over a thin layer of the resin which will give you a bit of distance a tiny bit more bulk. So just spread it out. Be careful you don't run it onto the, the hair. You just run it onto the thread turns at the back. I mean obviously if you can turn your vise like I'm doing here, it does makes it much easier. Now what I want to do is make sure the resin is coated all the way around. And then bring your hair up through. Try and get it to go with the natural curve of the hero, you'll see you'll see the way it's sitting. And as I say the, the thread will give you the grip. And you want to do it as quick as you can. Cross your thread, trim away the excess hero, and then come in with your torch and set the resin. Now you, you end up with certain kind of segments. Uh, because you're coming in between a, a resin, you get it just looks great. I mean, you'll see it. I've got the wee fluorescent tag at the bot back as well. I don't know if you can see it there. But um, when the resin sets, I mean, it holds perfect. The hero will never pull off. So ten seconds or so, all the way around, and that's it. Hackle, believe it or not, this is a, a grizzle, and it's been dyed chartreuse. That gives you a kind of, because of the black area, actually it gives you a kind of olive. It's a nice mix, a nice blend. 
And we tie this in by the tip. So you catch it on, two or three turns down, fold the tip back, and then come over. If the thread turns out and just bring the tip out and trim it away. I mean this you're tucking it back so it's really strong or not it'll not pull out, put it that way. It's got to break off. And then just fold these fibers towards the back. And you do one turn in front of the other. Now the length of the fibre, you don't go too long with it. Fibre length, you're looking towards a point, not any longer than the barb. You're looking round in this fly a size, around about three turns. Depends on how good the, the hackle is really. Trim away the excess. I'm just going to draw back anything that's going forward or towards the eye. Wax the thread, make sure you've got the grip. Now I did mean to see that I did wax the thread a good foot or so, so it gave me plenty to hold. So take the thread turns up a wee bit, see how it's sitting. So it's sitting nice back, lens, as you can see there it's towards the back of the body. Now to give the impression of a wing, or a wing case, I'm just going to use a single CDC plume, it's a natural colour. I'm going to set it on the top, just the tip towards the back of the hook. Just come in, pinch the it on the top. Two or three turns. Again, a wee bit of wax, make sure it's not going to move. And then trim away the waste. Tidy up. And then, option is to put a couple of horns on these. This is an olive pheasant tail. Yeah, We've got two fibres here. Just going to separate them so that they're going to go one down either side. Don't make them too long. Just probably, I'm looking at the length here, yeah, that's the length of the hook. Just slightly longer than the length of the full length of the hook. Just come round, holding it down either side. I'll show you how it's sitting. Right near, near the top. There you go. Okay, and you can tidy up. And then I'm going to use some Diamond Bright Bronze, what's called Bronze Peacock. Diamond Bright is a, a nice synthetic dubbing. You could use Glister, Black Glister, which is much the same colour. And you just want to form a nice thorax with it. Now you could use Peacock Herald if you want, but I, you'll find that, especially in a pupa, that so, these flashy dubbings work extremely well. Now I'm just forming a nice sort of shape. Well, anyway, trying to. We'll see how it works. Spring the thread turns through, stroke it back, and there we are. Let's look at the shape. A wee curl at the end of these with your nail. The curl in a wee bit. You don't have to do that, it's just. It's a fun of tying your own flies, you can do these things. And then it's a simple. Just get some varnish. Just a wee lick of varnish onto the thread. And then a wet finish. And there we are. And that's a... I think it's a nice wee pattern to tie, or try. It's an overdress, you don't want to overdress it, you want to try and keep that shape. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that.